Hello guys, welcome back to TechDose and in this video, we will see how to delete node in a linked list. So this is from lead code day 2 of the June challenge. So let us now look at the problem statement. The problem says that we are given a linked list and we are given just a single node in a linked list and we want to delete this current node in the linked list. So we are not given the head of the linked list. We are just given this single node. You can see that if you remove this current node 5, then your linked list will become 4, 1 and 9. But how do you delete this current node? Actually, in order to delete this current node, you will have to make this link point to 1. Okay, so there is no way to reach to this 4 because we are not given the head of the linked list and also this linked list is not holding any special property like it is not a doubly linked list, it is not a ZOR linked list or it is not a circular linked list. So this linked list is just a plain single linked list and in a plain single linked list, if you are at a current node, you cannot go backwards okay so how do you remove this node actually we will not actually remove this node we will copy this next node to this current node and then we will remove this next node in this way we can delete this current node but then you can see that we are not actually deleting the current node we are deleting the next node okay so in this case it is asking that delete the given node except the tail because this method will not work for the tail case because if you are asked to delete the current node, then what we were doing, we were just copying the next node's value to the current node and we were deleting the next node. But then if we are asked to delete this last node, that is the tail node, then there is no next node. It is null. Therefore, we cannot copy the value of next node to current node and delete the next node. There is no next node. Therefore, this technique will not work if we are asked to delete the tail node. Therefore, the question is saying that delete the given node except the tail node. Now, the linked list will have at least two elements. So, we are not asked to delete the tail node. So, it is very logical that the linked list will have two elements because if you have only one element, then head and tail will be the same. Okay. So, there are basically two cases. The node will be some middle node or the node will be pointing to the head node. Both these cases can be solved by using just a single method. So, if you are given 4519, and let's say you are asked to remove this node 5 then what will you do we will store the next node of this current node in our temporary variable now since this is stored in temp so we will just copy the next node value to the current node so this will now be equals to 1 we will remove this link and then we will make it point to 9 and then you will see that your linked list is now 4 1 and 9 but it is always a good practice to remove the next pointer of these type of nodes. So we have taken this temporary variable and we will make the next of temporary variable equals to none. So this will be gone. And now your linked list is just 419. This will just take order of one time. Now the code is self-explanatory and I hope I don't need to explain it. If you have any other approach or solution in different languages, then please post below so that everyone can take benefit from it. This was a very simple question. See you on our next video. Thank you.